Okay, so I'm just going to attach this video to the one that I just did. I don't know if I'm going to do it before or after, but I just feel like um, God is showing me to tie them both together. So this stream too, I had actually of this year on April 19th, 20, April 19th, the 20 of 22. And it says that I was pregnant, either I was 30 days pregnant or I was 30 days left pregnant. And it truly felt like I was pregnant in my dream. I like kind of tripped out when I woke up in the morning. I truly though, I felt super unprepared and, and I was worried because I didn't, uh, hang on a second. I felt unprepared, worried how I was going to have the baby because I was like, oh my goodness. Cause I was just like in shock. I didn't know what to do. So the Lord is saying, again, this is for your promise. It is coming, but you need to prepare because when it happens, it's going to catch you off guard. You know, you are going to be surprised. You're going to be like, whoa, this happened like so quickly, so suddenly, you know, God was giving me the signs and showing me all these things, but I didn't think it was going to happen that quickly, that slip, that swiftly. And it, it, it will happen that way. It will catch you off guard. Like you were, you are unprepared. So this is what the birth is that you are... You, you didn't know you were pregnant. You were just worried. You're like, okay, what's happening here, Lord? You just, you were stunned. It's, it's your promise. So this is what the Lord is saying. So I hope I'm not, I'm not making anything confusing, but yeah, it just says meaning giving birth to something new, your blessings, um, your breakthrough and all the plant, all the, all the things that God has ordained for you that you are waiting for. So not this word is not for everybody, but those who know it's for you guys, you know, it's season that you guys are in and you guys are waiting for your promise. You are in your harvest season, but this is what the Lord is saying. So yeah, um, be prepared because be in, be, uh, expectant. Um, and don't, what is that word? Oh my goodness. My brain just went blank. Just have faith in him, knowing that he will do a thing because he said that all, all he said he was going, is going to do, he will do it for his word does not come back to him void. Again, I will attach it to the video that I just did like a couple minutes ago. So yeah, bye, shalom. Blessings, shalom fam. So I'm coming with you guys for another word but this is a quick word i was just going over through some of my dreams visions that the lord's given me and there's quite a few of them that i still have to let god help me interpret them but this one was a small short dream that i had and god just started speaking me speaking to me about it so I'm going to say that this word is a heed warning for who this is for. You will know that who it, you'll know if this word is for you or not. So this dream that I had back in June of 2020. Okay. And I'm going to talk about the dream and then the interpretation. The dream is I was having a baby. Then there was a school and knew this group of people and they started to mock at me about God. I went to school and faced them face to face. So having a baby is giving birth, giving birth to your promise. And this is all what God has ordained for you and for your life. The school is teaching. It is training. It is the word of God, all the, the training and that the Lord has um, helped you with. He, you know, showed you the way. So people mocking at you about God. The, these are people that are going to come against you for being obedient Okay, but um, so this is what the Lord is saying. Sorry if I'm looking down at my notes here. And it says, once you start to birth your promise, your enemies will see it and they will know it. They may or they probably will mock you and try to come against you. But know that God has trained you and he has given you the tools. Man, my back's getting all hot. Giving you the tools, the keys and the strategies to overcome the things that you must overcome those who are against you they are not coming against you personally because you serve god but they are coming against god personally because they are not with god they are offended by it so just remember that this is just a quick word but this is what god was showing this is a warning whoever it's for take heed because things will start to happen and um 
Just be still and know that God is God. Let God fight for you on your behalf. But he's given you what to say and what to do in that time and when the hour, when it comes. But um, yeah, this is just so you guys are aware of it. You guys are prepared because God does not want us to be unprepared. So again, I love you guys. I hope this word was a blessing. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. 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 Bye. Shalom.